I'm hungry, and I'm getting rickets in my stomach a lot. Oh! Whoa! Ooh! Breakfast. Stay out of sight. Wonder how my golf hero, Panther Irons, did yesterday. Four! Panther Irons gets five hole in ones. Woohoo! I bet with a little practice, I could score five hole in ones. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> I should have used an iron. Oh, oh, Tweaky, I just figured out our next con. Come on. Oh! Hey, chum, how would you like to play a charity miniature golf game with the Great Panther Irons? Charity miniature golf? Uh, the champ's in town for a special exhibitation game, and uh, anyone who beats him gets uh, a spot on the pro tour. Oh, I'm Panther. Hear me roar a lot. Wow, Mr. Irons, I'm your biggest fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the game's down at the miniature golf fun park, so... Woohoo! What are we waiting for? Wait! There's a small matter in a $50 entrance fee. 50 bucks for miniature golf? Yeah, but do you see, if you win, you get to double your money back, sport. Yeah, now, uh, why don't you go get yourself a putter? Come on, Tweaky, let's scram. Huh? Attention! Putnam Stump Park is proud to have champion Panther Irons playing here on our course. Whoa, fuck! And five and such. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, Panther has to go uh, uh, put on his game face. Oh, more grabbing. Uh, now we're in them photos, you feta brain. The only way out of this is to play that dumb woodpecker. Oh, Mr. Irons, you should do the honors. I'll be right with you. But, boss, I don't know nothing about playing golf for real. Yeah? Well, you should have thought of that before you hammed it up for that peanut gallery back there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Wow! Guess that's why you're the champ. <laughs> Fixing this match is gonna be a cakewalk in the park, Twiggy. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay, sweet. You got me on that first hole, Mr. Irons, but I know exactly how to play this one. Oh, look, this guy writing our names. Oh, just to keep looking up a lot, please. <laughs> The wind must have blown it away. Fame is so fleeting. Hm. Ah! Something's fishy, and it's not the tuna I had for lunch. Let's see. The score is Tweaky, I mean Panther, uh, eight holes in one, and Woody Woodpecker, uh, well, a whole lot of shots. Who cares? You wouldn't want to write home about it anyways. The shot's loaded, Tweaky. Just tap it and let the rubber band do the rest. How I even for? Panther Irons, I'll 
don't teach these guys to impersonate my favorite golfer. Medley, the world famous mountain climber, and I am determined to be the first individual to conquer Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain. These here high tech gadgets are gonna help me climb where no climber has clung before. Mmm, mmm, and there's nothing like warm homemade soup to give a climber pure energy to make it to the top. Only a skilled climber like myself can endure these high, high altitudes. Hmm, <laughs> the air must be getting a mite thin. If I didn't know better, I'd think I was suddenly carrying extra weight. Huh? Well, I'll be a rival climber. You think you can beat me to the top by eating my soup and starving me off this here mountain, little fella? Well, guess what? Your scheme is not going to work. Conniving mm. little penguin, ain't he? <laughs> Near me. Now, this mountain ain't big enough for the both of us, small fry. I'll be climbing up that mountain, yes I will, yes I, huh? What the, yay! <laughs> now hold on one hand grip, stealing minute. Uh oh. Huh? That little fella is not gonna beat me to the summit. Uh-oh. Ah! I'm gonna get you, you little cliff climbing soup napper, you. Oh! Yikes! Phew. A professional climber knows there are good climbing days and bad climbing days. This is shaping up to be one of the latter. Ah! Back my food, you mountainside saboteur, you! Hmm, 
pretty loose snowpack for this high altitude. But my vast knowledge of the latest high-tech equipment has prepared me for any condition. <laughs> Let's see that little old amateur beat me to the top now. A seasoned climber knows how to listen to the sounds of the mountain. Hmm, that's not the wind. Hey, how'd you get up? But what a seasoned climber knows most is when it's time to clobber the competition. <laughs> yup. Almost to the tippy top. And this here gadget from the Climber of the Month Club is gonna get me up there before that penguin for sure. Huh? What gives? Whoa! Oh, no, you don't! I'm getting to the top before you, you little... Uh-oh. Yay! <laughs> Oh, no, little fella. That's not gonna work on me. A pro like Snow Peak Smedley knows you never, ever look down. <laughs> when nearing the summit, it's very important to be quiet as a snow mouse. Any noise could trigger a dangerous avalanche. Whew! It's a good thing you don't talk much, neither. You might have snowed us under an avalanche. Huh? Avalanche! With you ruining my ascent, destroying my equipment, stay away from me. Yes, folks, we're about to check in on Snow Peak Smedley's world record climb up Mount Neverest. Wow, this is news, folks. The world famous climber Snow Peak Smedley has conquered Mount Never. Wait a minute, that's not Snow Peak Smedley, it's a penguin! <laughs> You've just become the first individual to reach the summit of Mount Neverest. What are you gonna do now? survive the world's scariest vacation, but to win my Mega Macabre prize package, could you... What are you up to? Uh, nothing. You know, you spend far too much time glued to that TV. Well, I'm taking you away from here, someplace where there are no TVs. Our next contestant, who will get to spend one whole night in a haunted castle on Burnberry Hill, is... Woody Woodpecker. Woohoo! I get picked! I get to go to a haunted castle with vampires and ghouls and ghosts and... Uh, I gotta find someone to go with me. Let's go, Woody! Bingo. What a great idea, Woody. Where'd you hear about this quaint old place? On TV. How about, uh, but it's real old-fashioned, Winnie. Not a TV in the joint. Uh, uh, you check in. I'll park. Welcome to the world's scariest vacation, Woody Woodpecker. We've rigged that castle with hidden cameras to tape all the horror as you try to survive one night in Burnbury Castle. <laughs> the Mega Prize.
prize package is still safe, Iggy. We'll scare these woodpeckers out before the sun sets. <laughs> What's it take to get served around here? Ghost! Stop it right now, Woody! You're not funny! Oh. Oh. Go check those woodpeckers in. I'll handle the spookum. Yeah, uh, uh, Winnie, on second thought, maybe we ought to go somewhere else. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I like this old place. We're staying the night. Oh. <laughs> this should scare those birds right out of their tail feathers. <sighs> maybe a good long book will calm my nerves. through the bedroom door. of those woodpeckers before. Eat all day for 
for five bucks. Oh, boy! Hey, what's the big idea? This seating is full. into the feed a woodpecker make a fortune business. <laughs> Hiya, chum. Glad to know you. Glad to hey, know what's you. Up? I can tell by the way you're ogling this dining emporium that you are a woodpecker who enjoys packing away the groceries. <laughs> am I right or am I right? <laughs> the answer is D. I am always right. Yeah. Oh, and because you are a culinarian of the highest order, I am about to introduce to you a revolutionary new device. It will give you free chow for life. May I present, tum ta ta tum the fabulous food box by Scamco. <gasps> it's a shipping crate. Oh, it may look like an ordinary shipping crate, but can an ordinary crate turn any object into delicious food? Okay, prove it. No problem. <laughs> How's about a fresh glass of water made from, say, uh, this old nail? One fresh glass of water, oh fabulous food box. Oh, a glass of water coming up. Huh. Huh? There's probably water in that pipe. Uh, 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 uh. No sneak previewing. Wow! Ooh. Ooh. Wow! Wow! Oh, well, I'll check on your water. Yeah, quick, Twiggy. Make like a cork and plug that leak. So, how many boxes you want, sport? Not so fast. Let me see you turn this hubcap into a large pizza. Oh, you boy, you're boy, you don't. One super deluxe pizza pie on the double, oh, fabulous food box. Pizza's ready! So, you're gonna buy the box now? Pack it! Sure, sure. <laughs> Dessert. Hey, make me an ice cream cone from uh, this rock. Ow! One ice cream cone, oh fabulous food box. We're recalling the rocky road, but you can have this rock. Look, you crazy woodpecker. You only get inside the box after you pay. <laughs> Rocky Road, my favorite. I love this box. <laughs> and I love your dough. My very own fabulous food box. I'll never be hungry again. One grilled cheese sandwich, please. Extra greasy. Hmm, must be ready. cheese sandwich I ever had. Hey, what's the big idea? So that's it. They were scamming me with food from the buffet. The second seating is about to begin. Hey, Bob, we gotta talk. Hmm? Hmm? Whoa! Hey, boss, isn't that the sucker we just suck it a lot? <laughs> But that's impossible! I, uh, think we might have sold you a defecative food box there, sport. 
Oh, yeah. We might need to recall this model for ourselves and such. He a me for, uh... Retooling purposes, that is. Whoa! Uh, let me take a quick look see inside. Whoa! Oh, 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 boss! It's working! Food! Oh, food, food, food! It's really making food, Twiggy. We gotta take this box in for some serious service and sport. It's gonna cost ya. Oh, uh, here's your 50 bucks back. You want me to give up free food for life for a lousy 50? No way! Fine, fine, take everything I got. Just give me the box. What? Just thinking about all that food's making me stronger, boss. It seems lighter already. We just made the find of a lifetime. Woohoo! Ten, fifteen, twenty. That should cover the food they stole from you. And here's an extra five for my ticket to the buffet. No, 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 no. This one is on the house, Woody. <laughs> the upcoming hockey season rests in the hands of one world-famous super scout. Slapshot's Medley, who has never failed to discover the newest hockey sensation, headed off to frigid Antarctica today in search of new talent that fans hope will rejuvenate the troubled sport. World famous hockey scout, Slapshot Smedley, and I just love discovering new hockey players. Yep, you get me a boy with raw talent, and I'll train him to be tomorrow's hockey superstar today. Well, I'll be. Here I come all the way to the frigid Antarctic to find a hot new prospect, and he goes and finds me. You're some skater, boy, but you gotta learn how to use a door. I've never seen a hot prospect yet who can resist Slapshot Smedley's special signing bonus. <laughs> So fast, small fry. You're the property of the International World Hockey League, and I show now. So listen up. My reputation's online. And before I auction your hockey services off to the highest bidder, I want to make sure we smooth off all your rough edges, if you catch my drift. He may be fast, but he ain't the sharpest blade on the ice. First thing you need to do is test your speed and maneuverability. Let's see how fast you can skate around all those little old hockey sticks. Young hot shots come and go, but the stopwatch never lies. Now what is he? On the other hand, speed can be a tad overrated. You new prospects are all alike. You want the fame and the big money and the trading card with your picture on it, but you don't want to work for it. Well, Slapshot Smedley knows how to deal with the likes of you. Now this here drill is to test your face-off skills. Super Scout Slapshot Smedley is about to learn you one big time hockey move. That 
That's how the seasoned pros do it. Go on, son. Don't be intimidated just because you saw the best in the business do it first. Give it your best shot. You gotta build the new one's confidence a smidge at first. Now I know why they called a face-off. This boy sure better bring in the crowds, cause something tells me he's gonna cost us a fortune in sticks. Okay, little fella, time to find out about your goaltending skills with a little help from the latest technology in hockey scouting. You're supposed to bat him out of the way. Oh, let me show you. Fire that puck chucker up, boy. It's all in the rest action. Oh, sure. I had to find the only hockey player in the world who's more interested in sticks than money. Son, something tells me you're gonna be a natural for a barbecue endorsement. But you gotta play some hockey first. I know just how to tame this pesky little prima donna. Say there, boy. How's about we work on your body checking skills? I'm gonna check this boy so hard his whole family's gonna feel it. That'll get his mind in this game for certain. season sure could use a new player if the sport is to be saved. Let's just hope that Slapshot Smedley can come up with one. That does it. I've had it with you, you no-talent, unathletic supporter, you. I'm through with today's prima donna athletes. I'm going back to scouting girls high school volleyball. Stay away from me forever, Penguin. Oh, too bad. For the first time in his legendary career, Slapshot Smedley has failed to discover a new hockey sensation. And so, I'm afraid, this entire season is being canceled due to lack of interest, folks. But in its place, we bring you the world's best-loved campfire songs. Lover, I'm here to tell you about Colonel Pop's Sweet Corn Chunk Sweepstakes. Here's your game piece, and good luck. Oh, boy. I won! Woohoo! Woody Woodpecker, you've just won your very own farm. Imagine it. Here, swamp, mud pies. Say, Bob, I want a sweepstakes and I'm taking over the Colonel Pop's corn farm. Do you know where it is? You city folk are funny. <laughs> Seems you got all turned around. Colonel Pop's corn farm is, uh, uh -huh. Why, the farm is, uh, right here. You've arrived. <laughs> uh, excuse me, just a country say. I'm the new farm 
some caretaker. <laughs> Gather Gator. Whoa! Here's your farm, son. This is a swamp. Right, a uh, swamp farm. <laughs> Look, Bob, I won myself a farm with all the trimmings. So, where's my tire swing? Uh, isn't that it over there? Where? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Silly me, my mistake, it's over here. And where's my corn? <laughs> where's my... Oh, you city folk. This isn't swamp corn season. Well, then where's the corn grub, Bob? Oh, yes! Come right up. Now you just enjoy yourself, son. <laughs> Coming right up. I'll teach this gear never to mess with a woodpecker again, much less try to eat one. <laughs> <laughs> Swing, Gabby. I want corn fritters, Gabby. Let me drive a tractor, Gator. Oh, I'll tell you, it's no good when dinner bosses you around. Oh! a fashion show here. I I've been waiting for the Colonel Pops contest winner to arrive, but some dumb gator's been causing me a whole heap of trouble. Uh, you haven't seen him, have you? Hey, I'm the contest winner. <laughs> and there's your dumb gator. <laughs> Come here, you corn-napping varmint! <laughs> oh, I ain't just in this for nothing of you get back here right now! Show. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon. 
dance with another cartoon. <laughs> German Polynesia, home of the hula frows. One first class ticket to German Polynesia, please. That'll be seven thousand dollars. Seven thousand? All I got is seventy-five bucks. That's only enough to send your luggage. Then uh, just send my suitcase, bub. Here's your hmm <laughs> tourists. <laughs> No way to travel. Which way to first class? Now this is how a woodpecker was meant to fly. Hello. <gasps> Welcome to paradise in the skies. Whoa. Are you flying on business today? Oh, no. I'm on vacation. And, uh, call me Woody. Ooh. <laughs> you are so cute! Then, Vilad, would you like a tour of my home island? Yeah? Oh, yeah! And, uh, while we're in the air, how's about you give me a tour of that buffet over there? <sighs> this is the life. <laughs> Oh, Inga, my most favorite flight attendant in the whole world. Look what I bought for you. <laughs> Woody, my little Woodla, there are you. Don't be gone long, Inga. <laughs> For the chocolates, bub. But Inga's my first class date, so hands off. Look what I've got for you, Inga. Oh, Woody, how nice. Yeah, they just had you written all over them. Why, that no good, Inga thief. Whoa! Passengers, please buckle your seatbelts. We are proceeding to take off. <laughs> My woodpecker. <laughs> Didn't you hear, tourist? Passengers to your seat. Hey, what's the big idea? I'm from first class. Ask Inga. Inga! My biggest rule in tourist class is shut your yap unless you're eating chicken or fish. Do I look like I have all day? Get me the fish. Ha! This is Taurus class. Get it yourself, Woodpecker. Hiya, buddy. Gonna eat that? Sure. Knock yourself out, bub. <laughs> I gotta get back to first class. Uh, this is the captain speaking. Would flight attendant Inga please come to the flight deck? Inga to the flight deck, please. Ready to log some frequent suspender miles, bub? Whoa! <laughs> That's no good woodpecker. I'll, I'll, boof. I'll. Freeze! Just where do you think you're going, tourist? Trying to sneak into first class? Um, uh, no. Uh, why would I even, um, a beautiful attendant like you is right here with me. Oh, 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 oh my! 
Well, you know, you don't have to go to first class to be treated like first class. Escargot! Oh, yuck. I mean, yoy, you bet. But, uh, mm, I will need something to wash them down with. You just sit right there, my big pumpernickel. Back in a jiff! Woodpecker! Would the tendoninga please come to the flight deck at once? Yeah, your bet. Now I fix that woodpecker. <laughs> Oh, Woody, meet me in the flight attendant's lounge? Yeah. Flight attendant's lounge? He's right there, Woodpecker. Now it's just you and me, Inga. What have I done? Ah! Oof! I want to live! Don't worry, Walrus! Our love was meant to live! My hero! We're together now and never have to fly solo again! <laughs> Welcome to German Polynesia. Now this is a vacation. Soldiers had some tough fights in the Corps, but nothing like this cold and flu. <laughs> That's right, Doc. I am so sick. Get here as soon as you can. Uh, an Antarctic Corps soldier is never supposed to leave his command post. Unless it's just too darn sick to stand up. Now that's not too comfy. <sighs> ah, Chicken soup. Oh, do I have to? Okay. Pleasey, wheezy, pretty, pleasey, with itty bitty, with your sugar fluffies or topsies. Roger Wilco over now, Bob. <laughs> yes, sir, Bob's chicken soup will have her little soldier boy on his feet and feel ready before you can say. <laughs> like penguin Baba's chicken soup. 
I gotta get to bed. <laughs> uh, that pig was running me so ragged. I'm running fever for sure. Oh no! Gotta cool this fever ASAP! <laughs> This calls for a little military strategy. I'll just head that pig went off at the pass and take care of my fever at the same time. A little trick that I learned in survival training. Now that's a top secret operation done right. Oh. Ah, I must be allergic to penguins. I need, I need sleep. I need medical attention. I, I, I need my mommy. <laughs> now that little tuxedo wearing thief won't be able to steal this hot water bottle without waking me. That's army intelligence. Huh? Doc. Thank goodness you're here. Tell me what I got. <laughs> wow! Oof! Yeah! I knew it! It got to come out, I bet. Okay. I can shake it like a show you. Uh... Are these traps really necessary? Well, all right, then. Get on with it. I'll be brave. Ah! I can't watch! Sorry, Major. Mean, sir. I mean, Major. Sorry, sir. I've been calling for you for the last two hours, Hogwash. You're supposed to be on watch command. I was, sir, but then I got so sick, and then I got a fever, and then I broke out in hives, and then this penguin tried to steal my hot water bottle, and then I... Yeah. Hogwash, you're delirious with fever. Hallucinations. Hot water bottle stealing penguins? I'm ordering you back to bed. Do with it. This woodpecker runs on high octane skill. Time to warm up. <laughs> well, grind my valves. That's the kind of guy I've been looking for. I like your spunk. Yes, you'll do. I'll do what? Mr. Woodpecker, how would you like to make a million dollars? A million bucks? Where do I sign? Snazzy Motorcycles is proud to make you its new spokesman. And you get to ride that in the big race today. Wowee! Oh, Tweaky, we'll never have to scam again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not after my new motocross Perotoge he snags that million dollar contract. Ha <laughs> ha! Who's your new Protoge, <laughs> boss? Well, duh. It's you, Nitwit. But first, we've got to get rid of that woodpecker. Whoa. Bellissimo. Well, hello there, chump. I mean, the chump. I'm Ansel Buzzard, Snazzy Cycles Photographer of the Stars. I'm Woody Woodpecker, soon to be millionaire and owner of this cool bike. Oh, good, good. Well, I'm here to shoot you. I need to, that is, shoot your picture for Snazzy's big billboards. <laughs> Tilt your head back. I want to expose, ah, I mean to see your chin. Like this? That's perfect. Now watch out for the little baby. Oh, a lucky penny. Oh! What was that? Ah, probably some of your adoring motor psycho fans. Uh, let's move out of the limelight, shall we? I think I might hurt you. Oh, Mr. Woodpecker, we're ready for you on the photo set. Hey, are you sure you're a photographer of the stars? Oh, but of course. I shot them all. Ursa Minor, Canis Major, surely you've heard of them. Uh, yeah, surely. Now ride straight up that hill and we'll myrtleize you. I mean, it will immortalize you. <laughs> uh, film is forever. Unlike woodpeckers who are done for. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Blakey, help! Blakey! Oh, <laughs> uh, I gotta do something about the flesh. Hey, there was no film in that camera. What the heck's going on around here, bub? Uh, I must have forgot to load the film. Yeah, we'll get it right next time. This is the last shot. If you don't get me this time, I'm leaving for the race. I'll get you this time. Hey, see? Film! Get me like this! Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 this quick dry and cement was pure genius, Tweaky. Now we'll get rid of this blockhead once and for all. He sure is happy for a little guy, boss. Now to dump him off the cliff and make you the Snazzy Cycles poster boy. Wow! So, but you could get rid of me and take my million bucks, eh? Uh, no, pal. It was nothing like you think. It was all a misunderstanding. Yeah! The race is about to begin. All entrance to the starting line. So long, suckers. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh, 